Hello my creative friends, Olga Sobi here and welcome to another acrylic pouring video. Today I'm gonna do the black and white color split traveling open cup. I know it's a really long name. So basically today I'm gonna try to recreate a piece that I did last week, which turned out so cool. Um, you can check out the video for that here, but I did it on a really small wood panel. It was just 10 by 10 and it turned out beautiful. So as per several requests from you guys, and thank you so much for always sharing your ideas with me and giving me your feedback. So as per several requests from you, I'm gonna recreate it on a much uh, bigger panel today. This is going to be a 16 by 20 wood panel. So let's see how that's gonna turn out. Let's get started. So as I said, today I'm working on 16 by 20 wooden panel and I have previously primed it with like three or four layers of gesso. Um, so today I'm gonna use all the same colors as in my previous pour. So here I have crimson red, deep violet, gold, and primary red. And I'm gonna use uh, two open cups, which are my cookie cutters, because I think I'm gonna do two flows today, or at least that's a uh, plan for the today's composition. So that being said, let's get started with adding the base. So for my composition, um, I think having a one flow of open cup on the bottom will leave too much of the negative space at the top. So I want to have my black at the bottom here and I also want to cover sort of one corner. But yeah, let's see how that's going to work. So this would be approximately the shape. Joy flow is the secret message for this piece. Okay, the base is done, so let's do the first flow of the open cup. I'm gonna place it just at the border between the black and white. And I'm gonna layer all the colors in the cup. Now, before I'm gonna do the uh, flow, I want to add just a touch more black and white at the base of open cup, just to help it flow, and that will also help the cells form. All right, this is great. Let's do it. So most of these colors are hidden under the black and white, so we're going to let it sit for a few moments. So the cells can form. This is gorgeous right here. In the meantime, we can do the top open cup, which is going to be on this side. Okay. 
lifting it up just a little bit to allow colors release and I move it at the same time. So let's do it. Let me the cells that are showing up here are just gorgeous so now I want to tilt it just a touch to get this paint moving like everything that's happening along the black um, side the white side is not so exciting so now I want to blow this paint towards the white a little bit and yeah let's work on that composition I really like how this red moves into the white. It creates so much depth and transparency. I feel like this area right here, it's a little too big. I want to add just a touch black in the center here and work it into the red. All right, my friends, I think I'm going to stop now. I really love all the movement in here, yet there's so much negative space, and this is exactly what I wanted to go for. I was kind of hoping to get uh, more cells, but even what's going on here with these small cells popping up through the black, it's beautiful. And the reason I didn't get as much cells is because my paint was a bit on a thicker side. So if you want, in, if you're working with open cup and want to get a lot more of these effortless organic density cells make sure your paint is pretty thin so yeah i am looking forward to hearing from you what you think about my today's outcome and as always thank you so much for watching and happy pouring i'll see you next time bye bye